Hey guys, it's CJ from SmartKTai.com. Today we're benchmarking the Motorola Droid 3 from Verizon Wireless. I'm actually interested to see how the Droid 3 benchmarks compare to the Droid X2 benchmarks that we took a while back. They're both similar devices with 1 GHz dual core processors, but the Droid X2 uses an NVIDIA Tegra 2 processor while the Droid 3 packs a Texas Instruments OMAP 4 chipset. We'll be using Quadrant, CFBench, Velamo, SmartBench, and Tutu, the Multi-Touch Test, FPS2D, and NeoCore during this video. I'll also post the results in the description below for those of you who can't stick around long enough to watch the entire thing. So quick word of warning before I begin, smartphone benchmarks don't always tell the whole story. So we advise you to take what you see here with a grain of salt. Anyway, we have a lot to cover, so let's get started. We'll begin with Quadrant everyone's favorite benchmarking utility and we'll let that run its course we should start seeing some animations very soon here alright there we go and here's that famous hallway turn left go up the stairs as you can see it's buttery smooth here And we got the planet. And the DNA. And that should wrap it up for this test. Let's check out the results. All right. So let's zoom in on this to see what we got here. Looks like it's at 2,537. I'm not sure if you can see that very clearly, but 2,537. Below that we have the Nexus One, uh, the Droid X, uh, the HTC Evo, the original, and the original Galaxy S down there. So none of the dual core processors are on this list, but you can see uh, the difference between single core and dual core. Alright, so let's move on to the next test. We'll go with CF Bench. This test is actually by uh, Chainfire from XDA a well-known and respected developer so I trust that this benchmark works as advertised now this one takes a while so I'll probably just skip through this and show you the results alright and we're back I actually received a call during that last benchmark so I had to restart but now we're good to go CF Bench is done doing its thing again so here are the results you can see there are a bunch of things listed here we won't go through all of those what we're interested in are the three scores at the bottom. All right, so we have our native score, which is 9,549, and then a Java score of 1,881, and then overall score of 4,948. So let's zoom in on that real quick. So some pretty decent scores there. You can see it compared down here with some other devices. Droid 3 over here, Nexus S below that, and then we have the Atrix, uh, Sensation, and Galaxy S2 above that. Alright, so let's move on to the next one. Okay, so let's go with Smart Bench next. This is the 2011 version. So we'll run that. Let it calculate. All right, and here we start getting these animations. Going through a tunnel, this looks familiar. Very fast and fluid. alright it looks like it's done and let's display those scores alright so here we go we have let's get a little bit closer on this so we have a productivity index of 2,377 and a games index of 2,464. 
All right, so that was Smart Bench 2011. Moving on to the next test, we'll go with Antutu. Hopefully, I'm saying that right. And we'll go to test. Start test. Okay, so we skipped ahead to where you start to see some action here, just to keep things a little bit entertaining. Bunch of droids bouncing around. And here it is again. And then we have a warrior striking repetitively in the air. Zoom in a little bit closer on that. Alright, and we're done. So as you can see here, we have a total score of 4,906. And if we go to the score chart, we can compare that. So here's the Droid 3 right here, right above the Zoom, and below the Optimus 2X and Galaxy S2. So it's up there in the charts. Jump back. And now we'll go with Vilamo. Now this one's interesting because this actually tests the uh, web browsing performance. So it's unlike the other uh, benchmarking utilities out there. So with that load up, here's a butterfly. And here's another one, multicolored. Now this test takes a while, so through the magic of editing, I'm going to jump forward again. Okay, it looks like we're done, and the final score is 648. I actually ran this earlier and it scored 677, so I'm not sure what went on there. But we'll go ahead and check out the graph to compare. Alright, so it's down over here in the middle. And like with the other ones, I'll go ahead and zoom in a little bit so you can see the graph a little clearer. All right, so let's get, jump back again, and we'll go to FPS 2D. This one's always a simple little test uh, to check out the frames per second with 2D graphics. And it looks like it's capping out at 60 frames per second. All right, so we'll jump back and go to the multi-touch test. I always like doing this just to make sure there aren't any abnormalities when passing by each other. And it's interesting to see that it supports up to four points of contact at the same time. Some devices only support two, and some support uh, actually more. But on a smartphone, you don't really need more than two, but it's still kind of cool to see that you can uh, touch this screen at four different uh, points of contact at the same time jump out of there and finally we'll go with Neocore this is the one with all the uh, robots flying around in Tokyo alright so we'll go with benchmark and let that run through here come the tanks
Boom! And here comes the robot. All right, it should be wrapping up, and we get a score of 56.7. So I'm sure it's going to get 56, 57, 58 uh, every time you run it. So we'll exit out of there. So this was the Motorola Droid 3 being tested with a number of benchmarking utilities. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Be sure to check out our Droid 3 unboxing and gaming videos as well. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more Android coverage at smartktai.com.